All right, guys, good morning. This is the St. Albert Market Tour, part two. Leaving from my tent and going around the corner. So here we go. This is my friend with the uh, olives, fantastic olives, always good olives. From him, all the black Egyptian olives, and he's got kind of a pecan stuffed olive with uh, green olives with uh, maple syrup. Or maple is the maple syrup. Cinnamon princess, oh, that's new. Mm, gonna have to stop there. Just giving you a quick idea of everyone or the vendors that are here. Good morning. Why these people are all lined up? Because it's the best place. Oh, <laughs> all right. So these people are all lined up to get things from Booth 144. Yeah, they do look yummy. Mom and Dave are already over there by Crabby Goat. They're uh, all right. Works a lot. So, here's her lineup. Now you know the secret. Get here at 9.30 to get the best baking. We've got honey. Here. Gotta get me a basil plant later. a few little coffee shops you can come down here and just outside the market so it's not just the market there's some cool Mexican art always have interesting things here add some color to your yard When you're a vendor at the market, you don't get a lot of a lot of time to to shop. Um, I have a few places I go to regularly. When you go before the market opens up, a lot of vendors are not set up yet, or they're just setting up, and the, the products are not out, or they don't have time to talk as they're setting up. So you guys get to know more than I do. So my friend makes delicious pies. Look at that pina colada. All freshly baked. So, everyone's very friendly. I drink a little bit of this and top it off in the rum to give it a good shake to up the alcohol content, but it doesn't change the flavor or anything. It still tastes like your your stuff, but it's got more alcohol to kick to it. Yeah. So it lasts longer. Otherwise, you know, you pour it with your rest of stuff into a drink. That 20% isn't all that strong. No. No. I want to get back and try some of those flavors. This uh, label makes it look so delicious. <laughs> I can't find it. What are you talking about? I don't know where it is. Well, I'm like, I'm 
actually have a few people watching. How is your friendly baking? Pretty delicious. Just a quick peek, guys. Green onion cakes for those of you not from the Alberta area. Green onion cakes are really popular here. Kind of street food. It's always at all the markets. Days, those sorts of events. So my tent is just down there. You can see, just see the yellow tent. I'm gonna quickly. Hi guys. Yay. Quickly uh, go down here so I know where to start next week. So that's uh, part two. I'm pretty sure I will be able to get the rest of the market in next week. Remember, this is or they uh, market this as Alberta's no, excuse me, Canada's largest outdoor farmers market. So I believe 250 vendors or ish, 250 ish vendors. All right, guys. So take care. I got to get back to my booth. I will see you for part three next week. Don't forget to join me for the weekly update on Wednesday morning at 9 o'clock. Take care and have a wonderful day.